so we are back here at Dundas Castle to reshoot this place because the last time we shot this place we didn't have a really great camera and look there's a tree growing out of the gutter it's pretty crazy I got a lot of complaints about this video last time mostly because I cursed a lot so I'm not going to curse at all in this video and keep the people that like to watch these videos curse free happy I guess but I do curse so but we're gonna shoot it on a better wide angle lens and see what we can pick up more see what other kind of damage and destruction has been done to this place go through it again and do it real cool yeah, this is exciting to be back here at the castle you trying to go in? Or you want to see what's down? We didn't go down here the last time. Nope. You can probably tell from this video, compared to the last video, I'm not as um, hesitant to jump right in. It's flooded. So, yeah. Completely flooded. People were asking me about that spot last time. I didn't show it in that video because last time it was flooded just like it is right now. So, like it. So this is one of many fireplaces in these beautiful rooms that they have inside this castle. This place is really, really well done. Really, really good craftsmanship right over here. This is, uh, this is inspired by another European castle called Dundas Castle. They've, they've been locking this place down for whatever reason, putting walls up in doorways. Stopping people from going into certain areas, but not stopping people from going into the inside of it. Which, is that what you want? That's what I would want. I mean, there's not as much, like, I was expecting to see a lot more tagging and a lot more, um, spray paint all over the place. Yeah. But it's pretty much the same thing that was here before. A bunch of male anatomy photos. So like this right here. You can't get to the other side. There's another side of this on the other side. But we got to figure out how to get there because there's all passages locked up around here. So really, really nice tile work, really nice woodwork, you know, they didn't really skip around here, even the doors, they're true inch and a half thick, really looks nice, floors, all concrete, it's all concrete, basically like a stucco, made to look like brick, block, Make it look like a castle. All those moldings. That's a true mold. That's uh, they just molded that. Had a more mortar, concrete, stucco.
Which one's a little more vandalized than the other one. But still, still see the nice sinks, nice tubs, nice tile work, nice subway tile, even to the window arches, and nice woodwork. Probably used to be some nice windows at one point in time before this place got all thrashed up. Nice view that they have. They have the that's that's the best trout fishing in probably all the world right there. Right in that river. Creek, whatever. I think it's a river. Did you say car? It's not stolen, so. <laughs> well yeah. It's all the way down on the other side. Like I said, true, inch and a half doors. It's nice. You can see nice raised panel. Somebody had to go and tear it apart. Another cool staircase. place reminds me of like a Disney World castle. Disneyland castle probably because it's small. But still a theme park castle. That's what you want to say. Like on the other side of that wall right over there, there's another unit and they blocked it all off. We're gonna try to get in there right now. We'll go all the way downstairs and see uh, where we can go because I didn't.
This is some sort of pantry right here. Old wiring. It's a dumb waiter. Brings food from the kitchen up to the bedrooms and the upstairs, so you don't have to carry it up the stairs. That's the basement. We'll go down there in a minute. This is the old cupboards. All the old cabinets. It's unfortunate that some asshole came here and destroyed these cabinets. Because this is really good woodwork. It's probably most of it was probably done by hand, which makes it even better and even more valuable. Somebody came and broke out all the glass and all the nice trim work that they had going on here. Yeah, you Very unfortunate. Marble top. Nice raised panel. All probably handmade. Unfortunate stuff. Look at that. Probably one of the nicest stone mantles and hearts you'll ever see in an abandoned place. But even at this, somebody couldn't recognize it. Had to chip it away. Blast it out. Look at all that. Look how nice that is. You can go down that way. You want to do that one? Yeah, we'll go down that way. I or need we, the light. Well, or we can just start down this way.
but that was a dungeon right there that we were just in. Which is really just the boiler room with all the oil tanks. That were all spilled out oil tanks. Now we gotta jump over to the other side of this and see if we can find a way to the other side. So basically, right there, if you're looking right there, is where we went in, obviously. And that's a wall that goes up. And then this is a secondary spot right here. Now the door right there is bolted shut completely. This is still owned by people, so they might be storing stuff in it, but it's unlikely. But it's bolted down from both sides. It's boarded up on both sides of the window there. And um, I don't really like breaking into places. I took you through with the better camera. Formatted a little bit better. Did a little bit better things here. We got some good pictures. Christy wanted to get some better pictures of this place. And now we got some better pictures of this place. It's unfortunate this place has been locked down for quite a while now. And it's just from getting vandalized and broken up. I understand why I don't want anybody here. I understand why they keep unlocking it down. But, um, yeah. This will probably be our last time here. Ever. I didn't think I'd be back here the last time we were here. But I'm glad we did come back. So we could shoot on our better cameras. And not rush through it. Really get a a better perspective of the place. I got to actually see some things that I didn't notice the last time around, so that's pretty good. I hope you guys are satisfied with my language. I hope you guys are satisfied with the tour of the castle. And um, I hope you guys don't care that I didn't get into these last two rooms because... You don't like breaking in. Yeah, I just said I don't like breaking in, so... I think you guys got the gist of it, though. Looks good. It's a really cool place. You don't see too much of this stuff. Stalagmites. Stalactites? <laughs> like I said before, I really don't like to revisit places, but this is one of those places that <laughs> If you do get a chance to go back to, it's kind of worthwhile. You don't get a chance to see these a lot. Really strange that they left this here. I actually heard that the person that this was built for didn't even live in it for very long. They didn't like it. They didn't like being up here. Away from everything, I guess. I think they were moved from another country, if I'm not mistaken. Inside of there. Probably courtyard. That's a door that was blocked off right there. Well, that's the door that's in that room with the fire. This is where the oil tanks are. Look at all the pipes. Yeah. Yeah. That's that crawl space. Right. And this is just like a courtyard, like a garden. Definitely one of the coolest. Like, I don't know why, you know, and a lot of people who comment on the first video of ours say, like, you don't know why they, like, somebody didn't buy it and fix it up. Yeah. And it's the truth. I mean, this place is beautiful. They well, don't make stuff like this anymore. The truth of the matter is, is that it keeps on getting bought, but not by the people that want to actually do something with the castle. They just want all this property. Because it all extends all the way back there, down there, and across to the other side. Where, uh, where that river is. Do you think we go um, that way, where we came? Probably, right? Yeah.
This place is pretty amazing. Really, really, really crazy construction there. All those stones, all mortared in. And on the other side, another block wall. Really, really solid. I wonder why it's still standing here. Just really cool. Like I said, you won't see this. You definitely won't see me here again, more than likely. But you won't see a lot more of these builds in your lifetime, so. Ken, get up here and check it out in person. If not, enjoy both of my videos. So, we hope you enjoyed Dundas Castle Revisited. I hope it came out a little bit better than the last one. I know there's less cussing or swearing or cursing, however you want to say it. I think I said one A word. You were just really, really excited the first time, that's yeah, all. Yeah, so I was really excited the first time. <laughs> I apologize to anybody that watched that video before they watched this video and they didn't find my language appropriate. So, like I said, I hope you enjoyed our revisiting. I hope you got all the pictures that you needed that you didn't get on the last time. Oh yeah. And we'll see you at the next spot. Peace. Peace.